I was your age, I had an imaginary friend. It got me in so much trouble. Ten-year-olds shouldn't be celebrating war and talking politics. There's such humanity in it. Um, it, it, it felt like if anybody could make this film, it would be Taika because he's incredibly sensitive and soulful and uses humor as a way to, you know, really draw in the audience so that we can actually have a moment of reflection. Um, it's really just incredibly clever. Um, I don't think any of the roles are just straight out comedy roles. There's something else, something else to them, I mean, with the exception of maybe um, the imaginary Hitler character. But, um, you know, he's just conjured out of, you know, a boy's desire for a father. Um, you know, he needs a father figure and there's, he's mixing up an idea of his dad and his idol. It poses some very, very important questions, you know, kind of nature versus nurture, and is this child inherently an evil little Nazi, or is he a boy that's looking for a father figure, and if you can kind of find some forgiveness in yourself for this character, this ten-year-old boy, then who knows where that could lead you emotionally. Hey, Jojo, my old friend. Hi, Adolf. What's wrong, little man? Well, I had, I, I kind of had a friend called Benny for like, I don't know, quite a short time. It's just when I when I made Lego, that was really it. Yeah. But yeah, he was he, he was weird enough. He was kind of like me. It's a bit narcissistic. Um, Stephen was one of the ones who Stephen Merchant was um, probably the one that sort of surprised me the most. He's a very his, his character is very scary, and so there's elements of his comedy that come through. But he's very very uh, scary uh, as the Gestapo um, officer. I know as a director that the last thing you want is a sort of interfering actor. It's just it's just it will drive you mad. You know, you want actors to just come along, know their lines, and stand where you tell them to. But no, no, I want the actors just to be collaborative. But at the e in the end, know that the director is the one who's got the bigger vision in, in their head. So I trusted Taika from the off, and, and and I felt, and I'm very pleased that the the final result results showed that I didn't need to get involved. So, so Taika is directing all these big Marvel movies, Scarlett Johansson's a Marvel yeah, star, yeah. he's directing Thor. Mm -hmm. uh, you think that maybe this is your way into that universe and who would you want to play? Oh god, um, I, I don't know, uh, maybe, oh I don't know, uh, Odysseus? That would be kind of cool. Yeah, 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 I'll kill that, kill that role. He's the king, right? Yeah. Come on. <laughs>